Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Um, if you read the title, you know what this is about. I'm going to show you how to repair LP jackets. Now, I'm not, I'm not, this isn't going to be like your standard, you know, like seam splits or whatever. No, this is, um, this is something else. I figured this out mainly out of necessity. I recently got a bunch of records that came without, without any jacket at all. It just had like the, the white paper jackets, you know? So I figured out this technique for that. And I've also learned that it'll work on other stuff. So if you've been watching this channel, you know one of my favorite movies is the original Dune. I've said before, I'll say again, it's like a flawed masterpiece. It's great. Now, so I wanted the vinyl. All well and good. At the time, there weren't any represses, so I was able to pick up an OG press. So here we go. Dune. But you see, there was a bit of a problem. This was quite water damaged. Yeah, so you're probably thinking, you know, like, okay, well, that's like a... You need a donor cover for that. Not really, thanks to these. This is sticker paper from uh, Avery. You can get it, like, at Walmart or whatever pretty cheap. I think this was, like, ten bucks. And, um... Essentially, they're full sheets of stickers, but there's no cutouts, so it's it's literally just like one big 8.5 by 11 sticker. So, after a bunch of printing, you end up with this. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is essentially putting together a jigsaw puzzle of an album cover. But here's the thing, you know, normally I wouldn't do this. Normally I'd, I'd look for like a donor cover, but I can't find donor covers for Dune. I've looked, um, and honestly, my particular copy, the vinyl is mint, so I'm not gonna you know, grab a, like a replacement copy and just, uh, you know, just, just for the cover and then end up having a, a record lying around for no reason. So I decided to go with this particular technique. I found it works quite well. So all you do, you print up your pictures. I'll, I'll leave a template down below if uh, you feel like doing this yourself. But essentially you cut them at... Uh, 8x8, eight 4x8.5, eight, I think it is. Well, I'll leave it in the template. Um, I'll put the template, resize your picture to that, and then just cut where the lines are. That's all you gotta do. And then you stick them on. I'm using these little itty bitty scissors. I don't know why. I just am. I feel kind of weird. But, you know, it's the sort of thing, it's just a good, this is just a good way to, uh, you know, not have to, like, essentially throw out what the rest of is, is a good cover. I mean, 90% of, uh, of this cover is fine. It's just that water damage at the bottom. But as a result, I did get it cheaper. So that's always something to think about. You know, um, you'll have some purists who will be like, no, you know, you have to get like a, a donor cover. You know, you can't, you can't go doing that. You know what? Um, if you would like to, uh, send me a donor cover for the Dune soundtrack, um, hit me up and uh, you can send it to me. But until that day ever appears... I am just going to work like this, because it works. You know, it's not always uh, easy, it's not always pretty, but it works pretty damn good. And like I said, what I got this for were a bunch of records that I got that didn't have sleeves. That's a, that's a little bit harder, since the, the paper, like... Uh, cardboard jackets that they come in have a hole in the center so you have to kind of cut 
another piece of cardboard to fit the hole. And, you know, it it's more work than it needs to be. These scissors suck. So, if the scissors suck, wonders of the X-Acto knife. X-Acto knife and a bit of, you know, something to... uses a straight edge so there we go bottom corner uh, is this for everybody probably not like I said a lot of people are gonna want to find a donor cover and if you can more power to you but if you can't this is a good option all you gotta do then I unfortunately I can't really show you this while I'm doing it but yeah just got to line up the edge, and, and then just push it down, and then get out any air bubbles, and there you go, the beginnings of, a be of another cover. As you can see, there is a difference in print quality, that's just... You know, that's just par for the course. That's just how it's going to be. Um, like I said, this isn't a, f a flawless technique. This isn't uh, something that, you know, everyone's going to be using to, ro oh, like, you know, I got to change the cover art. And, like, I don't like it or whatever, but so I'll do this. I don't know. But if you have something damaged that you want to want to save, you know what? might be a good idea. So, I will cut right now. I will come back with the finished product. Okay, so I'm back and I'm done. There you go. As you can see, no more water damage. And it looks pretty good. Now, up close, you know, this isn't going to, like, fool anybody. No one's going to think, oh, you know, that, that cover looks perfect. You know, especially considering the back still has water damage. But, it's a good way... To just you know save something make it look a bit better than it did so it's definitely something to think about uh, it's a technique like I said that it's not for everybody not everyone will want to go about this this way but um, it is what it is and it works and just so you know that kind of it does work, um, here's my copy of Pink Floyd's The Wall. I got this, you know, it was uh, one of those ones I was talking about. And so, uh, there's the front, there's the back, and literally it was a cardboard sleeve. I just printed these out and stuck them on. Also, um, this is something I do. Not everyone needs to if they're doing this. I run uh, a little bead of uh, tape. You can probably see the reflection there along the top, the, the spine, and the, and the bottom. Just uh, It just holds it all together and makes it look good. So there you go. Uh, I hope that, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, may come here, you bastard. I hope that uh, perhaps uh, this might help someone out who uh, has some jacked up uh, covers. You know, is what it is, right? That's it for me. See you next time.